Well, guys, we're in book three now. Yeah. So crazy. We are in book three. Yay. Uh, I personally love this book. Um, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot There's a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I mean, obviously, you, you, you guys were there for the whole thing. Um, but is there any questions that you guys have about, like, book two, about, like, anything you might have missed and stuff? Missed what did something? we miss? <laughs> Man, did you know the hex map? Uh, oh, in the hex map? Yeah. Uh-huh. What was what was with you? Just uh, you know, just like oh yeah, you just travel through the hex, no problem. I didn't realize it was a. Uh, we like, didn't. You, you, you want me? You want me to reveal all of the hexes? Sure. Yeah, man. One well, was just gonna be a giant thing of gold just sitting there. <gasps> Whoa! There it is. Just a massive, Whoa. massive jungle. I mean, we hit basically every structure. It looks like we missed a lot of th- uh, stuff. You didn't. Stuff. No, no. I <laughs> I made sure to force you to certain places. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> were there any other? Very dangerous creatures in this jungle that we could have encountered. Like, uh, like the dragon dude at the bottom right. The beta, or the, the beta, bita, whatever it was called. Uh, no, the, the so that was in that well, that was in the book, but that was a planned encounter. Um, now, the uh, abomasoms, the the sloth things. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. There was no planned encounter for that. That was completely random. I just really wanted you to fight those. Hmm. Um, but no, the uh, yeah no it, the, yeah you guys you guys did not miss much. Um, other than, uh, I mean, the, the EQJ didn't really care for you in the first place. Cause <laughs> so what would have happened if we had gone back to the, the Acrovale after the first pillar? Um, after that, I had planned for you guys to go. I had planned for, for them to tell you about what, what, what happened at, in the, the elephant village, the elephant people village. Oh. Um because the I didn't know, I don't know what, what you guys would do. But you guys were just like fuck it, just go east. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, all right, because they just going on. <laughs> I, I was afraid that if we backtrack, it would just eat so much time doing. Oh, no, that's so, completely um, fair. Yeah, you know. um, and I mean, you, you guys are out of your element in, in every capacity. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he, even the ranger, he he dealt he dealt more in like um, city. Yeah, yeah, more city stuff. And it, the, the your background does have you going and hunting people, but it's mostly to bring them back into the city, so mm-hmm. they don't get far from you. Just a city boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Born and raised in Dacroville. The midnight um, Oh, I do want to talk more about the eclipse. Mm, uh, uh-huh. So they gave you the eclipse, which, as I said in in, in the last episode, uh-huh. is <laughs> the key. <laughs> To the Dream Gate. Yeah. That's cool. So the Dream Gate is for a portal back in Brito. Yeah, but we have a uh-huh. deity. Uh, Desna. Yes. Oh yeah, duh. Star knife. Do I get points? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a star knife. Uh, so huh. just saying, who is Desna? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, uh, but uh, there, there, there was a mechanic that I did not implement here because it would have been ridiculous, but. Um, there was like a favor mechanic with the leopard clan oh. that, like, depending on like what you did, uh, with the, you, know, you would like earn favor with them. Uh, there was some like neat things in there of just like obviously destroying each of the pillars gave you certain favor points okay. or whatever. Um, still weird to me that like you could go through the whole book and then be like, you didn't get enough favor points. <laughs> you know? um, and then we wouldn't get the star knife. Uh, no, they would just you would just have to do something to trust them afterwards. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, but no, they, yeah, like uh, one of the one of the cool things that are favorite points is that. Uh, do you remember the Mokele Bembe? Yeah, that the thing, big, mm-hmm. the big dinosaur mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. If you guys actually killed that, you would have lost favorite points oh. with the Ikuje. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't want to do it. We didn't want. Anybody. Well, we didn't yeah, want to fight it. You don't want to fight no, it. We anyway. didn't want any part of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> After like, I think it was a retroactive. Like once we figured it out, it was like, oh, this thing had reach. It could like sonic boom <laughs> yeah, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, like a sonic boom ability. It was also like a CR nine creature when you guys were like level six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You guys, you guys didn't miss anything. Uh, I mean, the, we didn't really try to piss them off either. No, know? no, of course not. I mean, like, I, mean, I feel know. like if we went out of our way, to just like <laughs> <laughs> they were already them. wary of you at first, anyway. Right, so right, you guys right. were like, let's be nice. Hey, you know how this like whole city is in one giant tree? I kind of set the base on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the history of your people is carved in with magic into these trees? Yeah, I left those on fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm super curious about one thing. Kezra was pretty weak from the battle at the time, but he considered killing. The dragon. Mm. Kyrian. Kyrian. Uh, I mean... Would that be doable? If I had yeah. killed the dragon and taken the, the jewel. <laughs> if you had taken the jewel. Wow. That is a great question. Uh, let me tell you, the book does not say anything about that. Killing mm-hmm. the dragon? Uh, yeah. Wow. They just really expect the... Yeah, it... it um, hmm. 
Mm. I mean, let me see something. Well, I mean, People playing this aren't going to be that stupid. <laughs> I, was, well, I mean, I was almost that stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was almost just being like, was. Kezra cast lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, see, I don't know what <laughs> Adler would have done, because I already made an agreement that he'd be okay, you yep. know? Would I have? Would that be where Kezra and Adelar throw down? I didn't have a lightning bolt available. I, like all my top level spells were gone, and my focus points were gone. Yeah, I think so, that, like, Adelar hops on the like, back I don't really of the dragon. A, I, don't, I was like, I don't have an ability to kill him right now. Yeah, but I, I was think like, that he's was the weak, point. and I could have. And like, I've been like, let's kill this guy, take this thing. <laughs> yeah, because I think that was the point. I mean, like, we just fought a bunch of shit. Yeah. Like at that point, like we were pretty tapped. much tapped. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. the spellcasters were. I mean, and, yeah. Anyway, that, I'm sure that would have been very, very interesting. Did you read everything Everything that Eclipse does, by the way? Oh, I did not. Uh, pretty I, awesome. I, I, I went back just to make sure I wasn't lying. No, it does not say. It It just says if Kyrion survives the battle, uh, because if you do release him, he does He does actually help. It's just that you released him after the combat was yeah. done. So <laughs> he, he, fee- he feebly tried to try to help out with the gem. Um, uh, oh, oh, oh. The, the Stanaf. Yeah. Uh, you said it was that's a pretty cool plus show. one, striking... Cold Return, iron. Returning. It is, it returning. Is a lot of things. Uh, treasure. When you score a critical hit with Eclipse, the target's creatures are eyes are plunged in the darkness. Yep. Oh. If that creature doesn't have dark vision, it is blinded for one round. Whoa. No save. If you critically hit with, a, with they it, they just go blind. And they don't have dark vision, they're blind for one round. Fuck. Also, it has two other abilities. You can activate for one action. You can, uh, once per day, uh, Eclipse Blade glows like star, uh, Starlit Night. Oh. And it causes it to shed like a torch, so it's just like the light the light spell. That's cool. Um, and you can deactivate it. And then it has a reaction three times per day. You attempt a stealth check to hide or sneak, but you haven't rolled yet. Mm. The effect is you absorb light. You gain a plus two status bonus to the stealth check. So oh, you basically nice. like darken the, the area yep. around you. This, yeah, and you can do that three times per day. Yeah, the wow. uh, the, the the picture there that I have here that I don't I don't have in front of you right now, but um, so myself be a tw- plus twenty one. <laughs> yes, if I did that. The 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 blades itself almost uh they um they almost have like a iridescent effect to them, where if you like move it around, you can kind of see like stars oh, instead cool. like the night sky inside of them. It's a very very cool item. But, uh, yep, item level eight. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to see if I can actually bring that into my character sheet. What's the Star Knife's uh, health throw? 20 feet? That's not bad. Yeah, so 40 feet for 40 me. feet for you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Deadly trait. Yep. Do you want to use your new plus two striking bow or use that? I already threw it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's in the trash. <laughs> Broke I'm it over my knee, so no one else can have it. But, but see, the, here's the thing: Elkwood now can snipe from a distance, pull the star knife out because mm. it is—it's a returning one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can pull that out and in, 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 uh, for mid range, and then obviously the you know just the, run the, full yeah, troop sword. And the nice thing is because he has quick draw, he doesn't yeah, have to drop that bow because you can hold a bow with one hand. Yeah, quick draw the star knife, and it'll come back every time. Yeah, so. oh, yeah. Wow. If, you, if something does close distance on you, you just. Start throwing the thing. Just think, just think, just think, just think. Strafe. Oh yeah. my gosh. So the EQJ, the the Leopard Clan of the EQJ and Acrovel, they present you with these gifts: the 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 Star Knife uh, and the Dragon Charm, um, and they uh, just sort of stand there and say, "Now that you are no longer outsiders, what will you do?" Well, I think we have a key to put in a, in a lock somewhere. So we'll probably start by heading back to our home. Well, if you must go, you will always have a place here. If you ever are told by the inheritor to come back, there's always a bed. Thank you. And you know how to get a hold of me through my dreams and stuff. <laughs> I will see you in my dreams. <laughs> Just make it sound like a creepy 80s love song. You'll see me in your dreams. Joshi, Nikitai's father, it just kind of glares at you like, What's wrong with you? <laughs> you all sent me dream messages. I swear, it's not what you think. He he, he doesn't do magic. <laughs> he's, a, he's a ranger. What the um, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of fucked up. Uh, yeah. So if you if you guys go, they'll 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 walk you back to the 
uh, they'll walk you down. They, they will not. They will not walk, walk you all the way to um, uh, the portal. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys do have in tow <laughs> Hazel <laughs> and her kobolds and fourteen kobolds. Hazel. No, no, no. Scales. Sorry, it was it was like seven kobolds. But anyway, <laughs> some uh, of them died. When did Hazel? They show didn't. Up? They all lived. <laughs> oh, did they all live? <laughs> yeah, okay. they all lived. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, when, when did Hazel show up? Oh, Kezra. <laughs> I <laughs> well, <laughs> right. Blubbering idiot. Yeah. I was there last night. Do you not remember talking to me at all? Wait, are you, are you coming with us? Kezra, do you not remember what happened between us in the bathhouse last night? You, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Wait, I am. Uh, Benson just turns around, walks away. Like I'm not listening to this oh, conversation. I don't, I don't want to hear that. I, I hope to add. I hope to add, but nothing happened. <laughs> oh yes, I just found you drunk and passed out. Just another day in the life, I suppose. Oh, good, good. Though you did have a strike of brilliance in your drunken stupor, you put the staff, the fire staff, inside the water to heat it. How about that? <laughs> I have had some of my brighter moments inebriated. <laughs> I, I was doing my, doing my homework sloshed. I do, re- <laughs> I do recall a warm bath, but I, I also dreamt about pissing myself. So well, it's hard to distinguish what happened actually. Was it the third or fourth bathtub shot? <laughs> <laughs> I did have to hastily pull you out of the bath before you drowned yourself, so... I can always count on you for that. <laughs> if the staff was in the water long enough, it would have started boiling. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of sits there. <laughs> Man, it's getting, I smell getting, something. It's Cooking. It's getting really hot in here. <laughs> Accidentally cast a fireball into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the bath. <laughs> <laughs> There's no water in it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's, he's just kind of like, the as you guys are walking, she just kind of turns you out a lot. She's like, have you tried disciplining him? <laughs> <laughs> no. If you attempt to tame a stallion that does not wish that, you will only get yourself hurt. Or worse, dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hazel. He waves the staff in her face. <laughs> when I get back, I plan on replacing some of these stupid spells you put on the staff. <laughs> There's much more powerful fire spells you could have used. Do you hear her eyes roll back in her head? <laughs> this has served me far better than it would have ser- than it's ever served you. <laughs> oh, uh, Benson Elkwood, uh, I don't know, if, I don't think we filled you in amongst all the partying. Probably wondering why there's Hazel in the Thorn Claws, Thorn Scales falling thorn out. Thorn Scales. They're it's not starting a new band. They're, uh, going Hazel in be... the Thorn Claws. <laughs> thorn Scales. Thorn Scales. <laughs> <laughs> it's nah, they're, fair... they're prog rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly obvious, but thank you for the explanation. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, like Elkwood just. Like, he, after the whole experience, he's just kind of vacantly staring off and just looks at her and he goes, nods. That just looks at the kobolds, nods. <laughs> he's very displaced right now. <laughs> Hazel just sort of, like, sees you look and she's just like, uh, sorry about the poison. <laughs> They just kind of, like, there's just a distant, he's like a distant look in his eyes, just staring at her. I, no problem. Do not worry about it. Your <laughs> mistakes happened. Uh, like, if, <laughs> if I can provide any information, I can tell you that mm. I did not craft that. The poison was given to me mm. by Belmazog, who I assume got that from the Scarlet Triad. Mm. Mm. Just like she got everything else. How about that? Didn't I tell you the inheritor had a plan for you? I can't imagine what sort of judgment I will be facing. The judgment of being responsible of being the bartender for all our balls. <laughs> right. <laughs> the mixologist, as you said. Yes. You'll get along How? Uh, with Pippin's off. <laughs> Who? The oh, yes. current stewards of our castle. It has a, as the, the first... <laughs> Kobolds in our residence, they have seniority, obviously. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> I, I'm, 
<laughs> What's Pippin Sarf now? An eighth level wizard? <laughs> <laughs> Hazel will soon. I'm realize. pretty sure she's an eighth level right. alchemist. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, she's an alchemist, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a fate that Hazel will soon realize is worse than the nine rings of hell itself. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Pippin Sarf? <laughs> They, Nothing they stirs lost. a giant pot. <laughs> a cobalt tail flopped about. <laughs> Would you like some soup? Would you like some soup? It's gamey. <laughs> it's gamey. In death, a little burnt. His eyes still twitch. <laughs> Just a, with the one wobbly eye. That, I, I forget which one had it. I think it was Arf. Well, yeah. well, they're definitely in charge. I encourage trial by combat to see who ends up on top. I, even in my... State of servitude holds you. Malave, I will best anything you throw my way. Not servitude. I like to think of it as a mutual employment to a common goal. Right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, be careful th- with this one. He pays. He, he accepts no free labor. <laughs> it's quite tough. Watch out for that one. He pays his laborers. <laughs> But he gets you in a contract, he just can't leave. No exploitation <laughs> on Hell Knight Hill. That is correct. Uh, but Hell, wait, tenants Hell, are very... Hell Knight Hill. Yes, that's our castle. I was going to... You should probably change the name, right? Yes. I like Citadel. Uh, I, I like not, Citadel Alterine, but... I was not aware you all, you all were friends of Hell Knights. Uh, well... Benson was. Yes, that's correct. Remember, um, Alark, was it? No. Yes, you took off Yes That night you took off his armor (laughs) Didn't he name his firstborn after you? (laughs) Technically he named it after all of us None of you know that It's like five years (laughs) That means we survive (laughs) I I saw the after credit scene (laughs) Post credit scene That is a callback. That is a callback. What was that from a year and a half ago? Uh, I was. It was way too long, and I remember. I remember planning that joke, and I remember uh, using a lock's voice, like driving in the car, and I had to laugh about it as I was like practicing it because I knew that I was going to laugh about it while I was like doing it on air, and it was. It was. It wasn't going to be funny. <laughs> I was. I was very proud of that joke. It was stupid. Uh, you guys eventually make it to. Uh, the gate. Who who was with us? Was Nikataya with us and all that? No, no, no. They they, said, they stayed. Nope, they oh. stayed. They said bye. Okay. We well, got stuff it, to do. They, well, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they have a lot of stuff to do because of the fact that they now have access to the jungles that they did not before. So. True, true. So yeah, they, it was just like he went to have one, like one last conversation with her, but that's fine. It was more like after the whole thing and then saying, like, you need to defeat your past or whatever. He's just like, is there no way else? <laughs> It's the, the, let's do it as uh, as you, you all are leaving Elk would you stay behind and Nikitai is there sort of just pe- peeks her peeks her head at you uh, are you leaving Elk I know you expressed your wishes to be here and part of the Leopard Clan but uh, uh, won't your friends need you they do and I was told that I have to deal with things before I'm a danger <laughs> apparently and it's like every time he speaks, it's kind of something hollow, like rattling in him. Like at this point, like mm-hmm. he's like every time it's he's kind of pissed because mm-hmm. you know it's like having the rug ripped from out of you. He's like, yeah, yeah we saved a day. Let me get the retire. I just want to retire. <laughs> just let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, you can see she she. Uh, it was her face that was saying that to you, like like the image of of her face saying that to you in that in that vision. But she has no idea what you're talking about. So it was clearly some sort of like divine spiritual thing that you were seeing. Uh, he just kind of puts his hands in his face for a moment, like brushes back his hair. And just, well, I guess it was a thing just for me then. Um, I, I appreciate everything that you've done, and I will be back. I just have to do more, and he does like try and find like i don't know like a uh that headhunter real fast and kind of gives him the old star knife that he had oh yeah because as kind of like a mini tribute yeah it's like it treated me well just ignore the golden fight yeah but, um so yeah they 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 take that as a sort of like you know remembrance of you yes. and and just say he's like i will be back for it at some point just use it well for me 
uh, <laughs> Akosa is just like, oh, I will use this if those cinder claws come back. Excellent. He's like, he's like, he's like feeling like the weight of the balance and stuff like that. He's like twirling it back and spinning forth. Spinning on his finger. Yeah. Like, yeah. Switch, 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 switch. Real quick, was the only reason that the Dahak people were in the Mwangi is just so they could get gold? Is that what we figured out? I think it was just because where their Dahak's bones were. Yeah. Like, that it was a site of reverence. I mean, like... Dude, if you're like dead, if your god died or something there, or the image of him. And they were trying to gain control of the portal, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, through through reading the notes, you, you understand that the Scarlet Triad w- were pretty much supporting her, supporting Bal- Balmazog through it. And they they did want access to the portal. So, yeah, yeah. so the Cinder Claws ne- didn't necessarily want that. It was just the Scarlet Triad wanted them to get control of the portal for them. Mm, okay. But that's gotcha. all you know. Gotcha. That's all that the notes really indicated. Yeah, as you go through the notes, um, you you continue to see that uh, the Scarlet Triad would send Belmazog things mm. all the time in order to support her. Yeah, kind of like a benefactor. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very much so. You, you can see that whoever this is, it, it works... Uh, with great powers and great resources, they were able to provide the golem. They were able to provide the chimeras. Whoa! They were oh yeah, they supply the chimeras. All right. They yes. This is what I'm worried about. <laughs> now that we're done in the Mwangi, and we're obviously going to be going after this Scarlet Triad. We just done with the hawk, so <laughs> hoping. just done with the dragons. Hoping. Yeah. I mean, yes. at the same time, I don't think so. <laughs> Well, we'll find out, because remember when we came through the first time, that image was yeah. in the tunnel. Yep. That's mm-hmm. true. That's true. So, is Speak- that thing there? Speaking of that, you guys get to oh, no. the portal. What do you guys do? Uh, Hazel, Thorn Scales, as yes. we go through this, you will see a visage beyond imagination, constructed of the most terrifying of visages of Dahak himself. Just stay close to Benson, and I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Does he take the form of a tiger? No. Oh, those are scary. What about a great, all-consuming fire beast? Does it look like a tiger? <laughs> Looks no. like a dragon, you idiot. <laughs> oh. oh, they all did. Why would the hawk look like a tiger? <laughs> the tigers are scary. He said it was scary. Uh, Hazel, your um, compatriots are quite bit, a bit slower than you. It's not... It's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Benson, where are your manners? <laughs> I'm a fucking lordly knight. I don't need manners. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I don't care. <laughs> All right, hey, out of luck. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alka, get this door open. Let's get back home. Uh, well, fine. Yes, of course. And, and he's being a little bit more short about everything right now. But uh, he uh, looks into the tunnel first. Is there anything there? Uh, so when you uh, when you use the arrowhead and you sort of like tr- trace it along the um, uh, uh, there, there's like a line that you sort of yeah. like trace it along. Lay lines. When, sure. Yeah, when, when you do that, uh, the portal opens up and it's a big red sort of glowing wall or like portal door. So you can't see into it. You have to step through it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's open. Get in. I'm going in first. I cast Resist Energy Fire on myself and Benson. All right. What is your plan? Because you know that the moment you step through this thing, it's going to manifest. Yeah. And it I, was a religion? Yeah. I yeah. I called it off with a religion check. All right. So do you guys want to step through first, or do you all just want to run in together, Hazel and the Thorn Scales? I mean, they should probably hold up for a second. <laughs> so, well, I mean, Hazel Hazel's curious, at the very least. So, so she she will she will step through. She's, she's only a level behind you guys, so... Oh, yeah, she's actually pretty yeah, good Yeah, she's level. a level-eight alchemist, yeah. <laughs> What's your uh, plus to religion right now? Yeah. Maybe plus, like, 15 or 16, I think. Oh, where's my Yours is very good. Where's my sheet? Oh. Give me one sec. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, Man, this thing is this thing. This thing was so long ago that uh, I did not. I don't have the map here in Foundry. <laughs> that was back in roll twenty. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it though. I got a plus fifteen. 
Okay. Uh, based on our previous experience, do you think I could dispel magic on that? That is a great question, Timmy. Let me go back to that. So, if you... Let's see. Um, the vision of Dahak. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> are level 8. You guys are actually going <laughs> to kill this thing. Um, <laughs> Good. Yeah, you know. Uh, make me a religion check. Um, and uh, I'll just, and uh, it'll be a little bit easier since, um, since you guys already dealt with it once. Should I roll one too? Uh, if you would like, sure. 34. Jeez. 25. 25. Uh, you, yeah, both, both of you got it. Um, yeah, so uh, you guys know that... Uh, that you could utter prayers, you doing a religion check, to a non-evil deity uh, to counteract a hawk's presence. Um... It's so funny. Prayers to Apsu allow this check to be made if the character is merely is merely trained in religion. Uh, so, so the, if you if you happen to worship Apsu, it's a little bit easier. Um, you could also try a thievery check, and you can do a dispel magic. Oh. So now, boldened by the knowledge that you know how to uh, dispel things, you want to try to do that? Yeah. All right. Can I aid? Uh, can he aid? What's a spell magic? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But let's. I am part sorcerer now. <laughs> oh, that is true. Uh, true. I think can't can you uh, aid spells? Like arcane check or something? I didn't. I have an arcana. Huh? Right, right, right. Uh, seems like a Kelly question. <laughs> I do not know. Oh, um, can you aid attack rolls? No clue. Oh, well, it's a dispel magic. Is that an attack roll? It's a spell attack roll, basically. Right. Yeah. Um. um. Well, let's uh, to aid. The trigger is an ally is about to use an action that requires a skill check or attack roll. So that is the trigger. So it has to be a skill check or an attack roll. And let's see exactly what you have to roll for Dispel Magic. Dispel Magic, you roll, you attempt a counteract check. I do not think counteract is a skill or an attack. Okay. Uh, well, let me get the in, let me get the initiative thing here first. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Well, at least I can dodge the fire. But yeah, he's <laughs> at this point. And Benson actually can now dodge the fire. Yeah, with my shield. Yeah, with the yep. shield, he gets reflex <laughs> bonuses. So, as you guys walk through, let's get initiative going here. Uh... Go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, you guys have plenty of time to prepare for stuff, so if you want to do your religion check for initiative, uh, oh sure. I mean, that, yeah, that's that's totally fine by me. Um, you know what you're getting into, at least. Yeah. I'll stick with a twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-six. Went to get a twenty-five. You said you got a twenty-six there. Twenty-four. Uh, eighteen. Okay. Classic terrible <laughs> Vintage Kizra. <laughs> Never change. Uh, Adelari got a 26, right? Yep. Okay. And then... Get her on last. I just like in the chat. Vision to Hawk rolls for initiative. Yes. <laughs> like, oh god. <laughs> uh, it does, in fact, go first. Of course it does. So, as you guys uh, walk through, it is going to breathe a breath weapon. I raise my shield. Uh, go ahead and make me basic reflex saves. Okay. Oh yeah, my reflex save just went up higher. Yes. <laughs> my reflex save is <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> Ew. I think I might have actually passed. Okay. Um... Oh. 
<laughs> I'm assuming it's a magical effect. Uh, oh yeah. Is this a magical effect? <laughs> oh, magical effect. You're going to be asking that a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Thanks to my new shield and armor, I got a 36. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Is that a crit? Uh, hold on. I think it is. That is a crit. Oh, my God. Wow. Benson. That is a critical wow. success on a reflex save. Uh, by, a, by a tanky boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> as it goes up and just like, you, ha- have you seen the guys that are like fighting fires and like oil fields and they have like the fucking asbestos, asbestos shields? shields? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just like walk through. That's just what Benson does. It just flows around him, <laughs> holds his shield out, and just. Uh, oh, cool. What did you get? Ten. Rolled a ten for a thirty. <laughs> My reflex is what? plus twenty now. Goodness gracious. Yep, yeah, that is a success. So it's harder than my intimidation. <laughs> Gosh, so Benson doesn't take any damage. Elkwood doesn't, doesn't take, take any, any damage. damage. 26. Uh, success. So you will take... Oh, and Vimir gets a 20. Now, so. Okay. Uh, success for both of you. Uh, success for Kezra and for Vimir. Battlear. 32. 32. Regular success for you. Nice. So let me go ahead and roll... That is going to be... Wow, really bad roll. Uh, 17 points of fire damage. Halved. Oh, so... Halved. Oh, halved. Eight. Oh, eight. And then I get minus five, so three points of fire damage. <laughs> what was the total? Uh, the 17 total. So eight. No, I don't take any damage. Resist energy. Yep. So me and v- Vermeer get slightly sinned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's hot. Not nearly as bad as it was when you first came through. You think either that the Hawk's power is weakening or you're just getting stronger. <laughs> How'd Hazel do in that breath weapon? Uh, let's see what she did. Well, I think we told her to hold back, right? No, uh, she she no, no, no. She, she, she wanted yeah. to come in. She was like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Golly gee. Well, my crow's not responding. That's fun. Okay. Well, her, I mean, yeah. her reflex I thought was pretty damn good, too. Or, like, she was more dexterous, I thought. Yeah. Uh, she did... Oh, yeah, she did fine. Um... What so. about all the thorn scales? <laughs> they did not. <laughs> she, she, she said, stay. Stay here. I will see what's in there. They're like, please, let's come. We want to see what's in there. All right. We got two religious boys. Yep. Yeah, roll high. So, yeah, go ahead and make me religion checks or thievery, or you can do your counteract. Or, or yeah, we're yeah gonna... I, I'm next in initiative. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, my chrome is frozen, so you, <laughs> you can see initiative, right? So, uh, Adelar begins casting, and as he's staring into the, this visage of the hawks, the hawk, he, uh, he cries out, My hand will grasp hold the ve- uh, My hand will grasp hold of the weapon of judgment. I will execute vengeance on my foes, and I will repay those who hate me. He blasts out. Dispel magic. Heightened. Heightened. To level five. Okay. Oh, Not shit. kidding around. Oh, man. That was one away from a nat 20. It doesn't get better than that. Almost. Okay. So that is a 36 to counteract check. So here's the thing. It's fourth level. Oh, I crush it. And it's critical success. <laughs> oh. So done. <laughs> it's done. Dang. With a golden light, the vision of the hawk just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Very, very comically, <laughs> just poofs. Hmm. Sick. Yeah, Benson was holding his sword upside down, about to like pray, and he's just like, "Oh, uh, huh. it's over." Guys, <laughs> mm. had the dimension door wand open. <laughs> oh, <I'm ready. laughs> yeah. I'm going. I'll do it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, well, that's that. Uh, so yeah, the um, and then. Uh, yeah, you deactivate it, and everything's very silent. You can still hear the smoldering of the magma around you. Mm. The air is hot. Just takes my head back out. All right, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, those, those guys are like, where's Hazel? <laughs> In here, come on. I don't trust you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, go get your thorn scales. She she's standing just in amazement <laughs> at what you guys did because she just saw a vision of Doc verbatim the name, and she was like, you know, she got singed, and all of a sudden she just saw him just get whisked away, mm. and she's just like, right, <laughs> yeah, yes, and she walks out, walks back in, seven cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's hot. It's hot in here. <laughs> you picked the winning team. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Let's wow, go. your castle's cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we do. So we, we end up back in Alsa's ring. Yeah. Oh, my God. Woohoo! Home sweet home. Wait, before you all go through the portal, we must blindfold you. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> precautionary. You can't Why? know how you got here. Exactly. <laughs> it's like Elvis Presley's secret room. What? What? Who? <laughs> oh, Nobody knows mind. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fine. That's, yes, we bl- blindfold yourselves, and they, they take each of their loincloths and put it over their eyes. Why <laughs> <laughs> each other's? I have spec. Never mind. <laughs> Just get through the top. <laughs> You um, get standard through, procedure. You get, you get through with eight kobolds <laughs> with my bulbs. Seven of them are naked. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. No. I'll take off the coin cloth and hand it to the kobold next to them. <laughs> Krieg and Doblemane are somewhere like no. There's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> you guys get through. Sick. You are in outside his ring. Or the Ayudara. Yep. I think I'm gonna go see how the construction work is going. Yes. Everyone upstairs. Oh, the construction work. <laughs> what has been going on for the Ursa. Month we've been gone. Semi Ursa violations. <laughs> it is two days away from a full month. Yeah, cool. You guys have been here. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how long you guys were. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if HGTV is any example of how quickly things can happen, <laughs> I've seen that home makeover show. They could redo this. <laughs> Chip and Joanna Gaines can put up a new house pretty quick. Yeah. Uh,. You guys go up through uh, the center. Uh, so you guys walk all the way up. The stairs are completely clean, refurbished. It is a gorgeous staircase going oh, down. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys get through. You guys go to the center. Uh, let me see if I make sure I have this map. I oh, know that one. Um, Believe it or not, all the white marble was easier to get than the plywood. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys get through Uh, second we get up the stairs I'm like you could take the blindfolds off now (laughs) right seriously put them back up okay they take it off and they're like wow (laughs) you stairs new stairs they know that they're we really splurged on the stairs (laughs) All the money went towards the stairs, actually. <laughs> Everything else looks like shit, but it's just like a white marble hand-carved staircase. Uh, as you guys continue going up, uh, you get to the uh, s- uh, second level, so basement level, actually, because there's three. There's, yeah. the, there's the top floor, which had, like, the... the, the where, like, the watchtower was and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So, well... So that that that's the center level. So that that's the ground floor. Yeah. And then uh, you guys are you guys are, are in the are in the basement. Uh called the Citadel Ultrain Vaults. Uh you guys get through and uh it is pristine. Uh it looks like somebody power washed this entire place. There are oh, nice. sconces up. I wish oh, we providing so. light. I wish we could have saw the power washing job there. Yep. They have like a amplified wand of water that's just like a yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no, they have a PSI wand. on that, baby. They have a wand of water and a wall of hydraulic push. That's right, hydraulic <laughs> yeah. push. Uh, yeah, the, you, you guys, you guys go through, and um, you see that the that the the, go, the goblins are not here, but their effects certainly are. It looks like they've uh, taken place in like certain rooms, so it looks like they're just out for the day. Um, huh. Uh, but yeah, everything is like clean to any of the trash that was here is just like gone. Uh, the, you know, there, there, there's like the middle table there in the in the center room. Other than that, um, there's like nobody here. Pip Zarf. <laughs> Pip Shit. Zarf. Nothing. Mm. Let's continue up. Do you think the bear got to them? <laughs> Oh, big bumble? No. They wouldn't be stupid enough to go back for that pair. Goblins would. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out check on the goblins. 
Yeah, they're yes. doing. Uh, I'm gonna ca- uh, with three actions. I'm gonna cast sending and like Pippin's off. Where are you? Report to the the main atrium. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Kezra? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Guys are the dude again. Just don't, just don't say anything back. <laughs> You have to disguise yourself as Kezra. <laughs> this is Kezra. This is Kezra. <laughs> That'd be a deception check. I, I, I don't know. You sound too sober to be Lord Kezra. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound cruel enough. <laughs> he didn't threaten to hit me once. <laughs> you didn't call me a name one time. You're not Kezra at all. Uh, Are we your property yet? <laughs> As you guys go up through the basement or the vaults. <laughs> Uh, you see that um, a lot of the uh, sarcophaguses and stuff like that are still there. Uh, they're clean, though. Oh, well. Like, the, they, they, they polished up the, the stonework. Um, you don't know why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's there. I mean, we gave him the general direction of clean the place. Right. Yeah. Uh, when you guys get up through the... Get up to the uh, middle, or the uh, the ground floor... Um, let me bring you to the new map. <gasps> Gasp! No. Oh yeah. I gotta put your tokens on my bed. I don't think we've ever seen this map before. Uh, it is a cleaned version of Citadel. Of uh, Citadel Alterine. What? Sweet. Uh, I think I just need Adelar. There we are. Uh, let me pull you guys over. Good, good, good gasp. <gasps> Yay. Wow. Oh, they even repaired the far wall. They did. Oh, they wow. repaired all of the you walls. Did, you did tell them to do that. They repaired a lot of stuff here. The stairs look good. The walls are good. We're all We have a intact. dungeon. We have a dungeon now, guys. <laughs> uh, you guys get back to get back to Citadel Terrain, and uh, yeah, it's it's immaculate. It's perfectly clean. The steps are all fixed. All the rubble has been removed. Uh, the central courtyard is just like it's just it's still dirt, but that's just because that's because it was a training yard at first. So yeah. um, any of the weeds that had grown up, and the big puddle is no longer there. Oh yeah. Um, but any of the weeds that had grown up had been rooted up and stuff like that. So it's a perfectly flat uh, dirt courtyard. Um, we had sectioned this out into four different sections. We did. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's yeah, like who, who had what and stuff. Yeah, I think mine was the upper right. I know. I think mine was part of the the study. I think or something like that. Mine was part. Remember those skeletons? The skeleton blender. Yeah, oh, yeah. Your top left. Then. Oh, yeah. top left. Okay. Considering living quarters are only in one spot, isn't that kind of stupid to just cut it in four sections? Well, we put a bed in one spot. And we <laughs> His beds are going to sleep in the library. <laughs> <laughs> just put a cot in there. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, I mean, th- these rooms are whatever you make of them. That's right. Uh, yeah. They're, they're like I said. There's there's a lot of furniture in certain places, but uh, uh, most of the stuff has pretty much been cleared out. Um, yeah. So uh, you you <laughs> you hear uh, two, you hear two voices. No no no. Oh no. No. Stop. No, you you get it. Pip Zarv. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the sound of those voices so much. You hear. Two pairs of feet. <laughs> Skitter. They come from the uh, central atrium, is that what that's called? The foyer. Uh, it comes from the foyer, and you see Pippin's off. And I'm like, look, Ezra! You've returned! Oh, my friends. Look, I've brought... us friends! I've brought you subjects. <laughs> this is Hazel. <laughs> oh, no. You're in charge of these. These are the thorn scales or something. Hazel just <laughs> Hazel just turns to Adler and is like, What's wrong with that one's eye? <laughs> oh, pay it no mind. It's uh, is he looking at me or not? <laughs> Have you never seen this condition before? It's quite common. But, no, I heal my subjects. What? <laughs> What's wrong with him? It's just it's just how he is. Different <laughs> is not bad or weird. Different is different, and different is great. And licks his own eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Does like the weird slow blink on one each eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Independently. <laughs> He's just, uh, uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> you get used well, to it. Pippin's off. I am Hazel. And they're like, you! I don't want to hear from you. Look, Kesra. <laughs> oh, God. We, we need your, we need your great guidance. We took some liberties and we paid for something for you. There's great tribute. <laughs> oh no. 
With what money? <laughs> well, we told we told the stonemason that uh, you are a great conquest. So we said that that you would come back a god and that you could pay him. <laughs> well, that may be true. I find it shocking that a stonemason would take your word. <laughs> I mean, but I suppose I do like things paid in my tribute. So it's all have, it's all billable it. work, man. <laughs> <laughs> you did uh, an admirable job on the uh, on the citadel. So let, let's have it. Work. Thank you. We were in charge. The dwarves they they they, they they they've done a great job here. We were in charge of them, weren't we? <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Always in charge, Pippin's off. Yes, this place is clean and, 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 and perfect for, for your subjects and, and, you, and the rule that you will have over this land. Oh. I agree. <laughs> this is a great start. <laughs> well, come, please, let, let me show you. And as you go to the foyer, there is a life-size statue of you. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Oh, heck yeah. You know, Pippin's off. I may run you down. I may think you're worthless, but I guess even the dimmest have moments of greatness. I commend you. <laughs> it is, it is stunning. <laughs> they, they both turn to Hazel and they and they go, "We were commended." <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hazel's just like, "So there's an alchemist lab." I'm still. <laughs> Please oh. tell me. This. <laughs> Please tell me there's an alchemist lab. Well, um, yes, we're you... probably gonna have to buy some supplies. <laughs> We'll have to make a space for it, but um, I'm sure we'll find you a good spot. Thank ah, Kesra, the statue really captures your likeness. The firmness of your jawline, the point of your ears, the roundness of your buttocks. Yes, they did a fine job. <laughs> yes, they only missed the whole point of his pants being down around his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, put, we can put clothes on the statue. <laughs> Life imitating art. <laughs> Uh, so the the, uh, the the base of it has a plaque that, that, that just says Lord, Lord, uh, Lord Kesra. Is it spelled right? God. Where, <laughs> where is it, where is it located? Uh, in the in the foyer, right? In the right, foyer. Right, so as soon as you walk in, it's just Sick. Kesra, right, right there. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah, it. Love yeah. It. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, the, there's a there's a plaque and just a uh, a very intimidating figure of <laughs> of you. And the, so as you, as you go out and you see it, there is a dwarf there who's just like uh, the the. Little ones told me that you would be paying, is that right? <laughs> oh yes, Kaiser, I believe this is all you. Absolutely. <laughs> this is money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> Can I write a check? What's the check? It, sh- it shall live in the it'll shall live in the glory of this foyer for generations. Right. Well, um they while making it they made uh, many many adjustments. <laughs> So the bill comes to five gold pieces in total. Oh, a full ass statue for five gold. All right, yeah, like do, he, like oh, can we like, get a couple more of those? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like he raps on the statue. Like it made of paper mache. <laughs> uh, no, you guys just have an obscene amount of obscene amount of money. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah so we take this arsenic laced gold. He reaches into a bag that seems to have no bottom, and he pulls out <laughs> a, a, a nugget, and he just like <laughs> chops a fifth of it off. <laughs> <laughs> you should wash that first. <laughs> why, why, why is it slimy? <laughs> like I said, you why, should wash it. Why do wa- I feel sick? Make <laughs> sure to wash your hands. He just <laughs> walks away from the Citadel and you just see him fall. <laughs> he, did not, he did not do well on the save either. No, 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 no. <laughs> can't be canon. Yeah, right. we, we can't, yeah, we give we him can't kill him to down <laughs> from. We, we give him gold. We have yeah, a shit yeah, yeah. Um, All right, yeah, so uh, you, you, you guys do that. Um, the the kobolds are, are are just like the uh, Pippins are for like giving you the tour of your house now, <laughs> uh, as as it is um, uh, completely uh, redone here. Um, I like how you tore down this barrier wall. A little more open concept. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we we brought in a designer. Hmm. So we can really outfit the place. <laughs> I like. I just like to think there is a furniture maker in Breach Hill, and these. Kobolds just showed up. I'm like, man, come to our creepy castle. <laughs> they had to use like spears. There's dead hell knights in it. <laughs> remember, remember those weird people who decided to go go fight the uh, up there? Well, they're gods now, and they're going, they're paying us. <laughs> they're paying us. Uh, you guys go up through the north. The cages are all clean. The 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 whatever was like 
base there is like clean and done. Uh, anything that's broken was like completely taken mm-hmm. out. Um, but you don't see any dwarves working around here. Hmm. Well, their okay. job was probably done. Yeah. So why would they linger? That's true. It was just the guy making the statue. Yeah. <laughs> or he's just waiting. So like many him. revisions. So many revisions. <laughs> the dwarves probably finished like two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, a week ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's when they keep going. Well, his nose is a little bit. <laughs> It, like he doesn't even do anything it's like when uh, Michelangelo like someone was insulted when he was doing a sculpture and they're like yeah like the nose has to be changed or whatnot and he actually he took like a dust like in his hand and he, and he didn't actually do anything to it and just let the dust fall and the guy's like yep looks good now he's like man <laughs> critics, the, amount, the amount of times in a, uh, in a graphic designer's life that you've done that uh, <laughs> you move it back so, move it so and many. then move it back and yeah. they're like yep looks good now <laughs> yep, yep, it does. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, it, you guys uh, walk around your house. It is clean. Uh, you guys have not seen any of the dwarves. You haven't seen anything like that. Um, I'll say it's about uh, still about like nine a.m. Um, what do you guys want to do? I think it'd be smart to maybe head into Breach Hill and purchase some supplies for this castle. Okay. We could also probably uh, update the council. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess we should tell them what's happening. Well, let them know we have a (laughs) trans-dimensional, interdimensional portal that they can just (laughs) willy-nilly use. That's a great idea, Kezra. I mean, he was being sarcastic. We don't have to tell them how we got to the Moangi. (laughs) Indeed, we don't. (laughs) I mean, we were gone a month. We were gone a month. Don't worry about it. (laughs) I mean, that's the thing. Like, we just kind of walked downstairs and just disappeared. Yeah, so we didn't even let most of them know what happened. <laughs> hey, we're yeah, back. I, Here's some arsenic gold. I don't even know if the dwarves saw you, because there wasn't much work to be done there, because they That's cleaned true. the stairs, and that was about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just see us go downstairs, and we just disappeared for a month. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the right. off, they just went on a, uh, an adventure. <laughs> Wait, isn't there a giant golem next to us at his ring? Uh, it is the door, yes. Ah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yes. yeah. I completely yes. forgot about him. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, you guys, um, do you want to take a bath? And I only say that because you do walk into one of the <gasps> rooms and there is a bath. <gasps> yes. Yay. That has uh, some, the, it, ha- it has like a pump on the side so you can like <laughs> pump the hot air and then, you know, and then like the, the furnace under it. So well, we don't need that shit. We could just put a staff in there <laughs> now. Ezra, pass me your staff. <laughs> I'm taking a bath. Give me a staff. get this furnace going. <laughs> Give me the hot tub staff. <laughs> I just, like, I had the wand of water. I don't even need the pump. I just had the right. wand of water right. and just tipped over on the side. <laughs> the staff to light the fire. So, yeah, Hazel, I told you I'd put this to better use than, whatever you, than every, anything you ever did. <laughs> uh... All right. Uh, so yeah, there, there's a there's a, a there's a bathtub, and um, as you go through the building, uh, sorry, my chrome, oh, there, my chrome is working again. Um, in the room, all the way down in the bottom left, just outside of the the, the devil fighting room, um, uh, you find a nice little uh, alchemical room. Uh, like a little there's like an alchemist table and stuff like that it's pretty rudimentary um, so it's, it, they clearly paid for you to have some some kind of uh, workstation set up Kezra oh right yep, yep. <laughs> so they sort of so the the, uh, the two kobolds are just like look look Hazel this is where you work uh, Hazel <laughs> you drop a list of any other reagents equipment you might need we'll make sure to get it for you in town or just have it built here we'll take care of that it's quite cold here. How do you deal with that? Fire. <laughs> Is light one of the braziers. <laughs> yeah, light the braziers. Put, put on a coat. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in the Mwangi anymore. I am going to, since it's cleared now, I'm going to check the the basement level where all the... Like, like where the... I think the goblins are in down yes, here. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, the goblins are there. Yeah, he'll go, um, yeah, he'll go with Benson. Yeah, like I said, all a lot of the uh, sarcophaguses and stuff like that are cleaned and everything, but they um, it, it's <laughs> they left them there because <laughs> they weren't like we don't want to touch that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. considering. Do you want to piss off the uh, right. undead? Yeah, there? there's literally <laughs> undead down there. Pippin's yeah. off. Where did the goblin tribe go? Uh, we believe they went out hunting for the day. Hmm. And they're living down here. Yes. Rent free. Yes, they are our subjects. 
<laughs> Just like you, pointing at Hazel. <laughs> God, Hazel is gonna. <laughs> yeah, they, Pip and Zarf have like a week to live. <laughs> Pip goes first, then Zarf. <laughs> Did the goblins do any help on the Citadel? Uh, well, they 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 helped when when uh, we needed things moved. Okay, it's good. <laughs> but there's nothing uh, nothing for them to do now. Mm, no, no, not really. They they've been living here quite peacefully. He looks at Adelaide. Like, we'll have to draw up a good rent agreement. Yes, now, now that their work has come to an end. <sighs> sure. We'll have to make sure that they can, uh, you know. Standard rent for the area, but I don't want to drive up the prices just because the value of our place went up. <laughs> we'll keep it fair. It's rent control, at least for now. Yeah, rent control. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, whenever they have to draw up a new, like, agreement, yeah, it's just a little more money. A little more money. Yep. Oh, no, I, I don't I wouldn't do that. I mean, I, I mean... Oh, I'm serious. No, because like, the goblins have been there for way before we got there. Yes, so... I would like to think that um, the economy in Galarian is not inflationary, but a deflationary economy. So as technology and advances grow, the goods and services get cheaper. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, with with the inclusion of magic in any sort of economy, it's it's tricky. Yeah, <laughs> because magic solves so many problems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, the, uh, like I said, the bottom is, is completely cleared out. You see that the goblins have like their own bunk beds and stuff. Like you can tell that they live there. It's a mess, but I, I'm a mess in the way that if you have kids, not not in the not in the way that it's like uh, disgusting and filthy. Ah, oh, another Lego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, they got mega blocks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Who left this cow trap here? Someone yeah. could have stepped on that. <laughs> Goblins definitely play with Caltrop. Yes, they do. <laughs> is the uh, the tunnel into the basement uh, sealed up? Yes, that that was that was uh, th- oh, that was yeah, cleared up. Yeah, thing. so that it was cleared. Up. I, I mean, the, it was it was sealed up. Sealed up. Yeah. So. Oh, so that means there's a clear demarcation of like our abode and their abode sort of situation. The you're talking about the tunnel. No, that I'm talking about the Breach tunnel Hill. that leads into Breach Hill. Yeah, the, there was the one that led into the pickle store. Yes. Oh, do you remember that? Why would that get sealed up? Because well, we would, wanted to. Well, at least it, a locked door. Uh, well, yeah, I thought what we, kind of seal? Well, we told them about it, and I thought they like dropped rocks into it, basically, like to keep uh, it closed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I, I. Well, that was temporary because we were afraid of an invasion. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can remove stuff That's under a, the cover of night. Yeah, we'll remove it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always, always good to have a tunnel into somebody else's uh, <laughs> residence. <laughs> if you, if you, if you want to go to the pickled deer, you can just go to the pickled deer. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Kazra gets or drunk. We sneak into the pickle deer. Right. gets at, drunk, wanders into the tunnel, <laughs> steals pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Their inventory is off just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're always just like, why are we always down one jar of pickles? <laughs> <laughs> I fermented fifty nine. Was it? <laughs> See, my goal is just have a network of tunnels that lead to each of the businesses. <laughs> Yeah. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Pip, Pip is off. We have a new mission for you. We know you cobalt are good at digging. We'd like to expand the tunnels underneath this area. This only stays within these walls. No one in Breach Hill can know what we're doing. Okay. It is a severe invasion of privacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, go to town? Yeah. Sure. Yep. It has been a long time since we have... Uh, had a drink together at uh, the old uh, what's that place called again? It's like Caden Caden's Keg. Caden's Keg. Yes, we could go to the pickled ear. That's true. I I has been a hot minute since I've had a pickle. I yearn <laughs> for the brine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. That place is filthy. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys go back into town. What time do we have to? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Okay. Uh, you guys get uh, start making your way back to town. Um, I'll say it's about like noon uh, when you guys get back because you guys obviously bathed. <laughs> bathed, yes. <laughs> you have <laughs> you have not. Uh, you been the, the only one who bathed and bathed in Aquavel? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I yeah. mean, I would have. Yeah, yeah I would have. Just yeah. stinky. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> you kidding me, Adelar? Not bathing? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, I mean, the the even with that, yeah. I mean, dude, you, you guys wanted a break, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you you take your armor off and stuff like that. You just get your regular clothes on. And Benson he, without his armor on, <laughs> I know. Yeah. He takes off. You're like, wait, who's that man? <laughs> who's that guy? 
Um, you make your way back to uh, Breach Hill, and you see that there is a bunch of stuff happening in town. Um, you see a lot of... Uh, you see what looks to be a lot of people uh, with, like, carts running around and stuff like that. You see that there's a lot of people. You see a lot of things happening at the town council. Hmm. And as you, uh, there's uh, people outside and they're sort of just talking and debating about things. <laughs> so you get to the front of the town council. Uh, where you guys had answered the call to heroes last time. Oh, yeah, where it all began. Yep, oh, and you yeah. see uh, Greta Gardania there, who she's just like, Yes, yes, Rorsk, I understand that you feel like you have uh, rights to claim Posandi Stoneworks. Hmm. What? However, as you know, an investigator is still here. And Rorsk is just like, no, no, no. It was proven. He was worshipping devils in that basement. Mm. And Greta sees you all come up as she kind of like rolls her eyes. And she's like, there must be the heroes of Breach Hill. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, <laughs> everyone. The heroes of Breach Hill. And everyone turns. And they're like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> they're, I know. They're... I grew my facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- t- tell me that your, your, your conquest, t- t- you were gone for uh, merely a month. Uh, where did you go? We traveled far. It seems that the troubles here in Breach Hill extend across the great continent, uh, the great world of Galarian. It took us all the way to the Mwangi Expanse, where we helped... Um, we uh, partnered with, I should say, the Ikuchi Elves in tracking down more followers of Dahak. We thwarted their efforts there, and now we have returned. It seems that there is uh, larger forces at play here. But come, pray, tell me, what is your petty squabble? <laughs> I am great at se- settling civil disputes. That is where my training is. Uh, Tired of your human problems! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so she sort of just Gene like, Goblin, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, now, 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 now listen here. <laughs> um, so yeah, she sort of just like looks over and she's like confused that you're all so just like, oh, I'm going to be interested in this when she's like, wait, wait where did you go? The Hoot, the Ikuje? Like you you just unloaded information <laughs> onto her. Uh, and yeah, she's, she's just like, uh, everyone's just, just like starstruck. They're all like trying to like ask you questions and stuff like that. You can hear uh, about it all in our latest memoir for sale. <laughs> <laughs> you hear about a crowd of 50 people roll knowledge checks on the, on the Mwangi. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Mwangi. Wait, isn't that the cold place? No, no, no. That's the land, that's the land of the Lunar Kings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of people are trying to figure out what you're talking about, trying to ask you questions. They're all super interesting because you are the Heroes of Breach Hill. Um, and uh, she's just like, uh, uh, well, th- fine. Um, well, uh, what happened was that after uh, Benson and Elkwood, uh, after you informed us that there was some devil work in Pasandi Stoneworks, um, I had uh, written um, a letter of in- investigation just to ask Mr. Pasandi some questions. Um, and it turns out that uh, things were as bad as we seem, as bad as it seemed. Um, so, investigator came here, uh, discovered a secret basement in his uh, place of living and work and he has now been arrested and taken back to Absalom for trial. Oh my. <laughs> Why is it illegal to have secret basements in your place of abode? <laughs> no. Um, I'm sure as you might be able to tell, uh, it is illegal to use the work of devils to further your business. Ah, you know? oh, yes, of course. Uh, Breach Hills Charter, Section 5, Paragraph 2. Uh, I remember that well. Uh, right, there, there, there was nothing wrong with him worshipping Asmodeus, as strange as, as it of is. Of course there isn't. Uh, but, but <laughs> <laughs> He's being de- an asshole. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yes. Uh, but but R- 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 Rorsk is just like, Gabba the bastard! He was taking business from me! You know, he's, he's like pissed off about it entirely. She's just like, yes, yes, yes. Um, we know, we know. Yes. Uh, so she just goes, 
So now, uh, we were planning to have an auction on what we what to do with this property. An auction, you say? <laughs> Man, yeah, we just... Kezra. <laughs> Kezra just shakes the bag of holding and all the gold rattling around inside. <laughs> you just got to offload all that co- all those copper pieces because <laughs> that should be enough. Uh, yeah, so Rorsk is is here, who, who who's who's pretty much saying that like because he's he he, he because Pasandi was using devil worship and uh, that kind of stuff in order to take business away from Tuskhead Stone working. Rorsk Askbane Rorsk Axbane is demanding that it belongs to me. It belongs to me. That devil worshiper was using it against me. That is quite a bold claim that you should say it now belongs. To oh, I see. You, I, I see you agree with devils now. No, I agree that you should. Have. Out there traveling the world, making deals with whatever. Yes, yes, yes. The only deals I make on the gaze of Avatar, I will have you know. But I do believe that there should be some retribution for the loss that you suffered. But to say that you should now own this business is quite a stretch. I would say come up with a figure of how much business that you've. You calculate you have lost, and correlate that with the length of time that he is devil worshipped, and w- maybe that would be a good way. You could take that amount from his estate, but the land, as far as the land, that is priceless, as you know. Real estate can be passed from generation to generation, unless you find a deed in the basement and have a legal <laughs> correct claim to it. <laughs> he, he runs to the basement, like <laughs> or we could just buy the business and let him run it. We're just going to slowly buy the town. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want everything. Yeah, we buy the business, let him run it, he pays some tithe to us. I mean, it's... Bez- Benson, I love your imaginative thinking, but let us discuss this in private before we make an offer. All right, smart guy. Tell me, have you paid your bill for all the work that we did on your castle yet? Do oh. you see this man holding this bag? <laughs> we have more than enough to pay. How much would that be? This would be about... 20 gold pieces. What the fuck? 20 yeah. gold? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I saw flaws all over that castle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just starts throwing gold, like a single gold 18 piece. 18 gold, <laughs> 50 silver. <laughs> I'm gonna do diplomacy. Uh, oh god. And I'm gonna be like, what is this? his name is R- uh, Rorsk Axbane. Yeah, they, he, 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 was the, he was the guy that, that was working on your, uh, on your castle when you left. Just give him what he owes. <laughs> we right, so I got a 23 diplomacy. Give me an idea of what I'm working with. Have you forgotten how cheap we are just because we were in the jungle for a month? <laughs> <laughs> we don't pay full price if so, we don't have to. <laughs> so so it, when, uh, when, when Kester t- 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 tries, to, tries to talk him down, he's just kind of like, mm, uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. But you know what? Fine, but only because I like you all. Those two kobolds that was directing everything were a fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> absolute menace to society. Keep them in line. They are free thinkers. They do as they please. As long as they do not break the law, we have no we have no quarrel with you. So what is what was that price again? I don't know if I heard it correctly. 18 gold, 5 That's silver. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got that here. <laughs> and he, gets, he pulls it out of the, the bag that seems to be endless. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the gold takes Greta's hand, slaps it in there. I'm buying all of his stuff. Greta's like, no, you can do that at the auction. She's still trying to like control him because he's like, give me a... I just want the stone. I want the tools. He's an angry door. <laughs> he's a very angry door. <laughs> he also feels justified, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. So everyone is just like amazed that you came in and settled down this entire thing. <laughs> and Vorsk is now happy. Greta's now Greta's now happy that everything is settled. We come out, come back into town after a month, and we already settled the dispute <laughs> almost immediately. Already settled the dispute. Tell me, when is that a state auction again? <laughs> it, it's it's tomorrow, but we still need to do the paperwork. Of course, I can assist with that. Uh, as you say, I can assist with that. You hear someone in the crowd go, Addy. Addy, my boy! Uh Uh-oh. You turn around and see your dad walking towards you in the crowd. By the gods. I'll see you guys next time. Hey! You have a dad. (laughs) (laughs) I thought he just birthed out of a mountain of gold. (laughs) 